Hey guys, so it's been a minute, a very long minute, and I apologize, but I feel like I apologize every time I come back to film. But there's a reason behind me not filming, so I'm just going to explain it to you guys. How I feel personally, why I haven't filmed, why I have had no energy to film. So basically, if you've noticed, if you've been a subscriber or a friend of mine who watch my videos and notice I have not posted really like one-on-one -on -one kind of videos lately and it's just basically been unboxings, well, honestly, I have no energy for YouTube. And it sucks because I love YouTube. I love filming. You guys know I aspire to be an actress. I love acting. I love being in front of the camera. But when it comes to YouTube, these days, it's so critical and I see people get thrown down personal preference on this I just have no energy there's just no rhyme or reason as to exactly why I don't know it's just the filming okay to start off this filming area right here where I'm sitting normally has my mirror and like 20 other things in front of it so it kind of just stops me from getting up and moving and to set up all this stuff another thing is i i feel like a lot of people are looking for youtubers to watch who have it all set up and they're doing like bethany moda kind of style videos that you have to like be outside and those videos are very cool and stuff like that i just i don't live in an area for me to film outside or do things like that it's a privacy issue one two i don't have someone else holding my ipad because i film personally on my ipad with a little lamp that's just my thing i like sitting down in front of the camera i do like vlogging sometimes but it's just kind of one of those situations where i just i forget sometimes or I'm just living in the moment and I forget to pull out the camera, well, my phone, because I just, I mean, I have a camera, but just, I would rather see my face and know that I'm in frame. I just, I don't know, personally, where I'm getting with this is just, I feel like in this YouTube generation now, everyone has to have the studio lights, they have to have a studio room, they have to have a makeup room, they have to have all these things, they have to have this two thousand dollar camera and for me i'm i'm filming on my ipad it's you can see me you can hear me i feel like that's all we need to do on my old channel i used to film on my macbook my old macbook and after that i started filming on my phone my phone ran out of storage and i got an ipad once i had an ipad i started a whole new channel and i've been filming on this and if it's a vlog or an alpha outfit of the day you guys know I film on my phone but other than that I just I don't know it's not really that I don't have anything to film because that is part of it but sometimes I'm just kind of over it to gain too many subscribers and then get knocked down by certain people like oh well you know your quality sucks well I don't care I'm sitting down talking to you guys the people who want to watch me can watch me I just I don't care and the thing is I do creep on Guru Gossiper. That's kind of my guilty pleasure. And I feel like everybody does at the end of the day. I love that site. And the reason why I do is just because I see... I was... It's kind of... I don't know. I'm not for bullying, but I honestly don't think... 95% of that site, I don't think anyone's bullying. I just feel like a lot of people have a lot of things to say. And if they can't say it you know, express themselves in the, the comments, they definitely will start a board and express themselves there. It's a freedom of speech. I get it. I go on there and I lurk on my f old favorite YouTubers or my new favorite YouTubers. I sit down and I look. And if in my head I see something when I'm watch like when I watch a video and something's not adding up, I always go to Guru Gossiper to see if anyone clicked and saw it. And that's basically why I stopped watching probably 70% of the YouTubers I used to watch because they're all so fake. And I saw it, but I didn't want to really believe it up until I read and I saw all these things. People on there are like detectives. 
which is amazing because some like I don't have time to really search through things like that. But I just feel like they criticize, but they don't mean it in a harsh way. I mean, sometimes they do. Don't get me wrong. Um, like I said, I'm not for it, but I'm not against it either. I feel like YouTubers can take take it how they want. They either take the criticism and fix whatever the whatever everyone basically is saying is wrong. Or they can just sit there and be like, oh, they're haters, they're haters, everybody's a hater. Nobody's a hater. Just being real with you guys. I just feel like that. That's just my preference. To make this video about two weeks ago, and when I was going to do it, Mel Rose here on YouTube, formerly known as Makeup by Mel, she um, did a video basically saying why she hardly does videos, and she's almost at 200k. She's been on YouTube for years. I personally feel like it's not fair. I feel like she's kind of underrated just for the simple fact that because she's a real person like she's not fake she doesn't sit in front of the camera being like oh my god like look at this look at that she's legit like f this f that like if she don't like it whatever I get the fact that she does tons of sponsored videos but at the end of the day like she said she's kind of over YouTube because according to everyone on YouTube who watches you need to have studio lights, you need to have big cameras. She just doesn't have time for that. Which I totally get. That's pretty much why I haven't filmed, but I'm going to try to what I do what I'm going to try to do is film a few videos at once so that way I can edit them when I can and post them. So that way it's more recent. And I know a lot of people like when I do story time videos or when I do like inspirational videos my friend told me to do more of those because she likes them and honestly I like doing them because when I did my video about my high school struggles I still to this day get comments on that video especially around like graduation time and it it makes me feel good that I can actually like I may not be able to physically help a person but to help talk to them I wish I had that when I was going through it so that's sad. Like, I love those videos. And I love, like, recently it was another situation on one of my other videos where the girl asked me for advice about, like, her kind of struggle with her ex-boyfriend kind of situation. It's just, it's always fun to have somebody else to talk to and relate to when I do those videos. I love doing outfit of the days and hauls. You guys know this is either a fashion or a kind of lifestyle channel this isn't a makeup channel I can't like I don't do my makeup right now I just have eyebrows and BB cream the rest the glisten that you see is sweat because it's 80 something degrees outside and this lamp isn't helping so I'm very just shiny other than that everything's just yeah so that's about it for this video I don't know if it made any type of sense I haven't filmed the video in a while so I'm pretty much little 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 and I mean that's what I do on this channel anyways is talk so goddamn much but you get my drift if you've been here for a while if you feel what I feel when it comes to filming videos and sitting down and not having energy so yeah let me know in the comments below how you feel about this situation and we'll just we'll talk we'll mingle we'll mingle so love you guys so much thank you guys to the ones who have stuck around for a long time and for the new people because i know recently i gained like probably five subscribers so you guys thank you guys so much for watching and adios